Wednesday the 28th of February 2024. This is a little bit into the sixth week and I'm feeling okay. I had a really good night's sleep last night but I still feel a bit tired. The weather has been glum today which doesn't help. Yesterday it was beautiful and I felt more cheerful. Today has been greyer and damper but I've been quite busy with one thing and another. I had a few orders at the weekend and I have got a couple of those dispatched and I've made the candles for another order so that will be going off in the next day or two. I haven't had any nightmares or any weird dreams. I've had dreams but I can't really remember what was involved in those dreams so there's no teachings probably to be had from those. Nothing of great significance anyway and Dan has been putting new hammers on my piano so I have been playing my big Casio keyboard although the foot pedal isn't as good as the one on my piano. Tonight I will be taking my iHusker as usual. I seem to be getting on quite well with it actually which is a lovely surprise. My hay fever isn't too bad. I've had one or two days of itchy eyes but I'm going to knock off the oak this Saturday to see if it makes any difference but I'm not sure it will. I think it's just one of those years and I hope if you're watching this that you've had a lovely day. This is Thursday the 29th of February on this leap year 2024. It's probably around half past nine in the evening and I'm tired. I've had a really busy day. Dan had a day off work so we went to the Black Pig at Deal and bought some rare breed pork. Dan's making some sausages on Saturday and we came back, I did some cooking and then this evening Dan nipped out to get a Greg surprise bag and I was delighted that it was mostly veggie stuff, but it was all veggie stuff actually, which is nice. You can't determine what the bag is going to be. That's the whole point of a surprise bag. Sometimes it's meat eating, sometimes it's non-meat eating. It depends what the shop has left. I'm chilling at the moment with the big boy. This is Merlin. This is the big boy. It's always lovely spending time with Merlin. He's such a sweet, gentle soul and it's very calming sitting next to him and giving him some love. And I've had a nice evening, we had a nice meal. I feel a bit itchy, something's got me. Maybe it's something I've eaten, I'm not too sure. Last night I had a drop of Ihasca as usual, but it might have been two drops on the tongue instead of one. I've been getting on okay with dropping the liquid directly on the tongue but I think I've got a bit complacent and last night and tonight I managed to drop probably two drops on the tongue instead of one. I had a strange dream last night probably as a result of having one drop too many. In the dream I was told about Elvis and his private life. I don't know whether it's true or not, but in the dream, I was told information about his romantic life. I'll put it that way. 
I'll say he's Rex life. Anyway, I don't even know why I dreamt about Elvis and his Rex life. I'm not particularly interested in Elvis and his Rex life. I learned in this dream that Elvis was, shall we say, quite fruity, for want of a better expression. And if he didn't get enough fruit in his bowl, then he used to keep himself entertained maybe at least three times a day he would keep himself entertained i mean i don't know if any of this is true it's just a dream but i just thought it was an odd dream i've taken uh, like an extra drop again tonight by mistake so goodness knows what i will dream about tonight but i will await that with interest these are the kind of random things in my life and i guess i will look forward to more randomness this is saturday the 2nd of march 2024 i took my ayahuasca as usual last night and no strange dreams or anything like that but I have had a little bit of itching again the last couple of nights which indicates that I may be having an aggravation my body may well have had enough of that particular remedy so I'm not going to have any for a couple of days and then I might take a dose again on say Monday evening and if I don't get any itching I may carry on like that for another week or two and I haven't taken my oak either I'm leaving it off this week to see if there's any improvement with my sinuses and hay fever symptoms if there isn't much improvement, I'm just having a bad year and I'll take the oak remedy next weekend. However, if the symptoms disappear, then I know not to have oak anymore. I've had two doses altogether, one last Saturday and one the Saturday before. The rose quartz seems to be fine. Today, Dan and I went into Broadstairs. Dan had his appointment with Lee. I did a little bit of shopping and we met up at the Old Curiosity shop and had a latte and then walked home. It was very windy, so we ditched our idea to walk right along the seafront and went up through the town instead back home. Arthur hasn't been very well today. I noticed this morning that he didn't seem himself. He had a spray and he squeaked first before that happened. Dan said, well, perhaps he's just got a bit excited. But this afternoon he did a wee at the bottom of the stairs. Then he did a wee on the landing, maybe within an hour of the big wee at the bottom of the stairs and I called Dan and I had said earlier to Dan that I thought that Arthur was not very well so Dan had to take him over to Herne Bay to the emergency vet. Arthur's all right he doesn't have a UTI but he has inflammation and the vet did think it was a good idea that we put some drops of the cat calming remedy in the water again until at least he gets sorted out on Wednesday at our regular vet. The vet at the emergency practice did give him a jab and then on Wednesday we'll take him to our regular vet who will check his wee to make sure that there's no infection or anything like that. 
So all in all, it's been something of an eventful day. It's nearly 9pm now and I'm feeling really tired. I'm ready for a nice bath and a good night's rest. And we'll see what tomorrow brings. As for Arthur, he's now resting quietly. He's quite happy in his basket in the conservatory. And Robin is on the chair near him. Merlin is upstairs, resting under the bed, and all is quiet and restored.